Hey what's up guys and welcome to my video. Now this video is all about Windows 8.1 which is a recent update to the Windows 8 operating system and is something that's currently available free for Windows 8 users. You can of course buy it separately if you're going to upgrade your PC from Windows Vista or 7 or if you're going to be buying a new PC from scratch. If you're currently running Windows 8 simply click on the store icon and there's a big big advertisement for Windows 8.1 it's a free download, it will download in the background and then you just simply need to install the update. Very very simple and it's something if you have Windows 8 you should definitely be doing. So what's actually new in Windows 8.1 compared to Windows 8? Well, firstly, the star orb is back, and this doesn't have the traditional style menus, but it does have loads of different quick ways to get into things like the command prompt and other sort of professional tools like that, which is quite a nice little way to get into it. But one of the biggest things about it is that you can actually boot into the desktop. If you right click on this little bar down here, click properties, and then you've got all these options, um, all these options that do various things and the big one is that you can boot straight into your desktop so especially if you're running on something like an SSD booting in is incredibly quick the whole performance of Windows 8.1 is not drastically improved but it is definitely a lot quicker and a lot more responsive than Windows 8 was. Now one of the other things that's new in Windows 8.1 is the ability to have your desktop background behind the start menu so if I press Windows you can see it's a lot cleaner, it looks a lot nicer. You can have it how it was before with a different sort of colour accent, but it looks a lot nicer and it's a lot more seamless to go in and out between the two different things. And it's not a reason to go out and buy Windows 8.1, but it's a nice little feature and it's something that just makes it quite a lot nicer to use. As you've probably noticed, this is a desktop computer and there is no touchscreen in sight. So if I want to optimise it a little bit more for mouse and keyboard, I can transform the start menu from the traditional Windows 8 start menu into something that looks a little bit more familiar and as you can see there's loads of all the programs on my PC in this massive great list and I can change it to sort by name, by date installed, by category, all that sort of stuff and it isn't something that I am going to use um, and I'll tell you a bit more why that is a bit later but it is a bit more traditional and some users will definitely prefer it. As for the desktop mode itself it hasn't really changed at all but if you look in the Explorer, we've got some new options here. Um, my computer has changed to this PC, which doesn't really make any difference to anyone. But this SkyDrive integration is a lot better. Um, a lot of the default places it wants to now save files to is your SkyDrive folder. Um, this is a folder on your PC that's obviously automatically backed up to the cloud to your SkyDrive. Um, this is actually quite useful for syncing documents and all sorts of other stuff. You know all about cloud computing and it's just a bit more integrated and um, it's not forced you know on you it was available in Windows 8 as an optional download but it is quite a nice little feature to have it straight there and so if you've got like a Windows RT tablet or a Surface Pro or anything it will just sync up really nicely to all the different computers and you'll be able to look at all your different files on each computer. Now the main reason that you should upgrade to Windows 8.1 and I say you should upgrade because realistically there's not really a reason not to is the new search function. Now search is essentially the same as it was before except with one big difference. Before you would simply press the Windows menu and you would start typing so you'd get a search menu would come up here but now instead of putting you in that start menu if you press Windows and S then you get a search menu that comes up here so if I type Batman for instance then everything Batman related from my computer but also from the web comes up and there's all these different things here so you can see my Batman hands-on at Gamescom video comes up different Batman stuff comes up Batman game doesn't come up because it's the scene version but all these different things come up here so you've got all these links so Batman Arkham City and it will come up with everything Batman related in a big screen if you press enter or if you click on one of the other search options. So I've got all my files here and I've got all these different web stuff here and there's like a YouTube section and there's like news section and then there's just general general different stuff there's like shopping options and it's really really nice the search feature I think you can't really get much better than it is it's very easy to do simply you know anything else you just type it in and it will come up, whether it's a program, whether it's a file, whether it's a picture, no matter what it is, it will find it. Even if I wanted to find a website, I could just do it in there as well. And it is really, really good, and no matter what you're doing, you can quickly find what you are looking for. So, as I touched on earlier with the programs list, rather than going into this big menu and trying to find something, 
why not just search for it? Search for Battlefield 3, and straight away, if I can spell it right, that is, which clearly I can't, comes up straight away and it's really, really easy to use and it's a really nice feature of Windows 8.1. Now, if you're familiar with Windows 8, you'll know that you can snap two apps together. And this was a little bit funny because you could either have one app there and one app there, or you could have one app slightly to the left and one big screen there. But now you can decide what sort of size apps you want. So, for example, if I want, say, for example, this search bar, I can move it where I want, so we say there, and then I can just adjust the size to no matter what size I want. And this means that if I want something there, and I can just do that and then get the desktop for instance and then drag that there and my desktop is there and my search is there, depending on what app you want. So any modern app can go alongside the desktop or you can have the desktop and another app or you can have two apps together, loads of different things you can do. And depending on your screen resolution and your pixel density, so if you've got a big screen with a high pixel density, you can have, I believe it's up to four different apps sandwiched together. I don't think you can have them in quadrats, which is a little bit annoying, but you can have four apps displayed alongside, which on something like a tablet is going to be really, really good. But me personally, I don't really like that. I'd rather just switch by using the Windows and the Tab key. But there you go. And you can see that I've now selected Xbox Music, and this I can put no matter where I want. And you see I've now got three apps displayed next to each other. And it's okay, but it's not really something I'm going to want to use. But if you are someone that liked the snap mechanics before, then here they are, and they're really nice, and they are improved. There are also a load of changes in Windows 8.1 on tablets. I don't really know what they are, to be perfectly honest, because I don't have a Windows 8 tablet, and I don't have a Windows 8.1 tablet either. So I can't really compare them for you, unfortunately, but obviously there are changes and there are new things available. Now, as I touched on earlier, performance is better. It does feel a lot more responsive. Not massively. You might not notice the difference. I'm running off a SSD, and I do notice a difference. Everything's very quick, especially turning the computer on really, really snappy. But one thing I did notice, which I, it must be related, is the fact that my SSD seemed to regain a lot of disk space back. I was on about 24 gigabyte free and since installing I'm at 33 gigabyte free. Now this doesn't seem entirely right because obviously Windows isn't massive in the first place, but it is something to note that you might get some space back, which is obviously a good thing. Now the last big improvement that I'm going to talk about is something that you will say, what are you on about, you're an idiot. And that's because it's Internet Explorer 11, and this now comes with Windows 8.1. I'll just get rid of these apps, like that, we'll drag that back. And let me start by saying that I'm a massive Google Chrome user, that's why I use all the time, I use multiple computers, and I love the fact that all my bookmarks and stuff and everything is synced between different computers, and the thought of using Internet Explorer I find quite funny. But, I have been using it, obviously, I've had to test it, and I must say that it is actually brilliant. Why am I saying that? That sounds ridiculous, right? Just because it's blazingly quick. You click on a page and it opens significantly quicker than Chrome does. Twice as quick, maybe, but it's not instant. It's I don't think we're going to be getting instant browsers for quite a long time, but literally you click on something and it will open straight away, and it's enough to make me want to actually use Internet Explorer 11 until a better version of Chrome or Firefox comes along because if you're going off speed alone this is the best browser um, other stuff has been improved like the auto search and sort of knowing what you're going to type so if I want to type something it will know what I'm going to type which is obviously a brilliant feature because you're not um, typing it out for ages but it is actually something that you I know you probably won't believe me but if you get hold of Windows 8.1 give it a go because actually it is pretty quick and it is something that is going to save you a bit of time and it's something that you can't go wrong with trying it once I'm a big Chrome user and if I was at home all the time I would be using Internet Explorer and I have to say I know that sounds stupid don't unsubscribe because of that but it is generally quicker so that is something new and it is something about Windows 8.1 which is a positive so obviously it needs to be said now, other than that, there's not that much changed. Um, in the start menu, you can change different app sizes to get them even bigger. It, not that one, SkyDrive, you can't. But anything, basically, that shows you information, 
like your Photos app or for your People app, for, for instance, here. Um, you can resize and you can make it even bigger. So if I go here, large, bigger app, and you get more information on it. Not really going to affect many desktop users, maybe a few laptop users with a touchscreen. Um, but as I said in other videos, I never really use this start screens. Use a couple apps like Netflix, but don't really tend to actually use that many apps. But if you're on a tablet, there are plenty more improvements and I'm sure you'll be able to get the information on what those improvements are. Websites like TechRadar will give you all that sort of information. But on a desktop computer, should you upgrade, well yeah, it's free and it's a lot quicker. And if you are still on Windows 7, um, is Windows 8 gonna, you know, is 8.1 actually worth upgrading from 7 to 8.1? Whether it's worth upgrading, I'm not sure as I've touched on in other videos, but it's definitely a better operating system in my opinion than Windows 7. You know, performance alone is significantly better, and now that you can pretty much, well, you can, you can bypass this completely. You never need to come in the start menu anymore because it will boot straight into the desktop. And the search function is just so, so good that, you know, I type PC centric in for it, for instance, and it comes up with everything PC centric related. And if I press enter, it comes up with all sorts of stuff. It's not actually coming up with my YouTube. Oh, there it is. Yeah, my YouTube channel. It works. Great little search function. So, to wrap up, should you get Windows 8.1? Yes. Should you upgrade from 7 to 8.1? You know the answer to that. It's a better offering system, but is it worth the money? Maybe, maybe not. Thank you for watching this video, and why not subscribe to more videos? More videos coming, hopefully, very soon, um, as I've touched on. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.